Good afternoon, everyone. Okay, my name is Lu Bao Tai. Oh, if you meet me on campus, you want to say hello to me, just call me. Look, you will make me feel at ease. I'll be teaching you management for this semester. This is a three credit course. I'll be teaching in English as well as Chinese. Before my uh, getting to the point, I'd like to pass along the syllabus. Okay? You can check it on the internet, but you don't have to print it out. I have already done it for you. Now please, thank you. Okay, we start from the beginning again. Yeah, okay, you don't mind. Okay, I'm not using this. First of all, I'd like to tell you how do I evaluate your score? Look at this. You got a very clear and general picture in mind. Participation 15%. If you miss the class, you cut the class three times. On this part, you have nothing. Okay? The second one is school net. Today, Surfing the internet and school net is very important. Therefore, you have to submit, you know, my assignment to the school net. That's 15%. Midterm, another 15%. I'm going to give you the midterm from chapter 1 to chapter 8. And the 20% for panel discussion. Look at here. Latest issue, HBR and BW. What's HBR? I believe you know. That's Harvard Business Review. BW is not a car, it's not BMW. That's business week. Okay? You have to submit this. We're going to have a panel discussion two weeks before the final. The final is 20%. So you can see here, the total score is 100 points. Okay. Let's get to the point. Management. What is management? Look at this. Man. I'm a man. We have a woman here. Okay? Who is in charge of the world? H. Okay? The red one, the red word, H. What does it mean? How old you are? No, of course not. H means control. Means dominate. Man dominates. M E N T. M E N T is the form of the verb. We can also say moment. Moment is time. Therefore, management means man controls the world. But actually, it's not true. We have a more capable woman than men. Therefore, I would change the word from management to co-management. Okay, it's joking anyway. Joking anyway. Let's talk about the purpose of management. Okay, first of all, we have to know the ideas, concept, and theory. There are five things we have to keep in mind to know the purposes of management. First, first D is describe what management is. Why management is important. What manage, managers do and how managers utilize organizational resources efficiently and effectively to achieve organizational goals. Look at these two red words. These two words are very important, they are quite different. I'm going to tell you later. The second B is distinguish. Distinguish among planning, organizing, controlling, and staffing. These are four managerial functions and explain how a manager's ability to handle each one can affect organizational performance. The next D differentiate among three levels of management and understand the responsibility of managers and different levels in the organizational hierarchy. As we know, we have a CEO on the top 
and we have a top managers, middle managers, the first line managers. We have to know the differences. The fourth, discuss. Discuss what? The principal challenges managers face in today's increasingly competitive global environment. Would you have probably have heard international community, European Union, we say EU, about NAFTA, North America Free Trade Treaty Agreement, and uh, Asian. What is Asian? Association among South East Asian nations. This year, mainland China participated in this organization. And we are going to sign a contract with mainland China, so-called ADFA, Economic Cooperation Framework Agreement. This is why the global environment is changing very rapidly. We are going to talk about this. The last day is identify the roles managers perform, the skills. Okay, look at this red words. Roles and skills. What roles do you want to play in? Manager or just employee? What are the skills? We are going to talk about this. These five, these are the purposes of management. What about a theory? There are four schools. Henry Fail, Federal Protector, and Elton Mill. These guys, we have to know them. The first school is the process. The second is quantitative. The third is behavior science. The fourth, contingency theory. Okay. The process. The function. What are the manager functions? Before I mentioned, there are four manager functions. Look at here. Planning. Organizing. Controlling. What about the last of four? This last of four is staffing. S-T-A-F-F-I-N-G. Which has five important skills. They are commanding, leading, coordinating, communicating, and motivating. You can see how important they are. Okay, let's look at this business functions. Human resources, first one, human resources. Okay, finance, production, marketing, R&D, information. If you are working in a government, okay, what are functions for government? for executive UN, internal affairs, foreign affairs, national defense, education, justice, telecommunication, economy, finance. Okay, now, this is the school. What are functions of the school? Look at this, you can have a very picture, good picture in mind. Look at this. Sorry. Academic affairs, students' affairs, general affairs, R&D, academic and industry cooperation, incubation center, dormitory, student body, alumni, association, continuation study, and library. It doesn't matter which field you're working in, school, business, government, you have to come back to the functions of man managerial functions. That's what we mentioned before, planning, organizing, controlling, and these five staffing. This is a process. Now, scientific. Who is the father of scientific management? Today we use computer, internet. It's a scientific way, but this is the theory which you know, occurred 100 years ago. It's roughly 1914, Federal Taylor. He found the theory, shovel theory. One day, 
He saw a lot of people working, shoveling the coal mine from the coal mine to a truck and transport the coal to some place. He found that. Okay, all people, bigger or smaller, they use the same shovel. He questioned, why? Why do you use the same shovel? Big people use the same shovel. The small guy uses the same shovel. And then he changed his mind. He said, okay, we have to give the employee the different sizes according to their size. Finally, he found that. The result of the experiment, very clear. The number of employees from 600, from 600 reduced to 140. The average productivity per day, average, from 16 to 59, tremendously increased. And wages at that time, okay, it's 100 years ago, at 1.15 to 1.88 dollars, you can see, is also tremendously increased. What about cost? The cost reduced from 0.072 to 0.033. It's reduced. This is the result of scientific management. Okay. The third one. Elton Mayo, Hoffman study. Hoffman studies, the simple example is this. Okay, now we are sitting here, for example, you are reading something, you're doing something. If I turn up the light, it got brighter, people feel it's bright. The light's bright, and people work, and then people are motivated. The productivity is getting higher, increased. But if the manager turned down the light, let me ask you, let me ask you, what is your productivity? Increased or decreased? You may say, because it's dark, it's decreased. Actually, it's not true. It's not true. The productivity is still the same. Sometimes it's still increasing. Therefore, look at here. The brightness of the line does not affect the productivity. This is what's it behavior science. That's why people who are studying management have to learn sociology, psychology, and anthropology to manage management. Okay, therefore it is very, very important to be a good leader, either in the government or in the private sector. You have to have. Look at this. First of all, let's look on the, on the right hand side. See, these requirements. Working hard, Okay. Working hard, discipline, energy, responsibility, aggressiveness, proclivity. Are these requirements for a good leader? Yes, basically they are. But let's forget this. These are not very important. Everyone, even the student, you have to be. You know, working hard, discipline, energy, responsibility, aggressiveness and precarity. These red words are the necessary requirements for a leader. You have to have knowledge, skill, human relation, epithecor, concepts, quick response, optimism, confidence, coolness, calmness, trust, and vision. Please. You want to be a leader, you have to have the red requirement. Okay, the fourth one, contingency theory. What is contingency? Let me give you a very two simple words. Flexibility, adjustment to the new environment. If you can adjust to the new environment, you, you have flexibility. You will know which way is better, the process, scientific way or behavior science based psychology, uh, psychology or anthropology sociology it really depends okay let me come to the definition of many management look at this what's this by planning organizing Controlling and leading the process. 
was the quantitative method and behavior science. To achieve organizational goal efficiently and effectively. Okay, now, we look at these two words. Efficiently and effectively. What's the difference? In the beginning, I mentioned, I'm going to paraphrase these two words. Look at this. The first the two. Efficiency is, we do the right thing. Effectiveness is, we do the things right. Okay, for example, what is this? This is an apple. If we sell apple from Taichung to Taipei, you are on the highway, drive the truck, very speedy, fast. Normally it takes two hours to get there. But you took only one hour and 40 minutes. That is efficiency. Okay? That's efficiency, very fast. Your destination is Taipei. But what happens? If you drive faster than the speed, one hour and 40 minutes, you get there within one hour and 30 minutes, even faster. But when you get out of the exit on the highway, it's Kaohsiung. My goodness. What's the result? Your destination becomes Kaohsiung. Therefore, your effectiveness is negative. It's negative, it's not positive, it's not affirmative. This is not what we want to do. Okay, when we pay attention to efficiency, we have to take more attention to effectiveness. What about utility? What about utility? Okay, what to use it? What about strength? What the use of strength? What about benefit? What to earn money? If there's no benefit, we don't do it. Okay, what about power? Power is kind of thing can be multiplied. What about reproduce? Okay, we see effect, E F E E F M E C T is not here, but this is what we say show in. What is show in? Reproduce the power continuously, constantly, tremendously. Okay, there are a lot of uh, ethics. With the chemical, physical, political, business. Let me tell you one thing. 1945. 1945, that's the year when I was born. 1945, August the 30th. The United States dropped a two atomic bomb in Japan. In Japan surrendered. Just why? Because I was born. I was born in 1945, August the 30th. That's why Japan surrendered. It's very interesting, right? Okay. That's about management, definition. If we can do something, reproduce the effect continuously, tremendously, if you're a businessman, you're going to be a millionaire. How wonderful it is. Thank you.